Yeah, yeah, good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, good. Do you guys ever drift down to Devon? Because you live down that way, don't Dorset you? Dorset way, yeah, not yeah. far, actually. Dorset, North Devon all down there? Husband's from Devon. Yeah, is yeah. he really? Yes, he is. Cream tea boy. Ah. Oh, or, or. <laughs> and do you ever get down that part of the world from Ireland? Not Harlem? really. Mm. No, is, is Lyme Regis in Devon? Dorset, but oh, not Dor far, not far. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, I've probably bad. never been to Devon. Well, we're going to find out all about it, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got two stars of The Breakfast Show down here from Langton FM. Please welcome Emma Sullivan! <laughs> Hello, Emma. How are you doing? Welcome to the show. Come and meet Hello. Hello. Our oh, good man there. No. What time do you have to get up in the morning, then? Uh, quarter to five. Well, wow. well, earlier than that, but quarter, quarter, quarter past four. Yeah, do you ever get used to it, though? Or no. It, no? You just, oh, it's because you still have the kind of social life. I, I, you? I would die. I, I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> From being no a chef, nights. you know, you work late nights all yeah. the time. You, you get know? used so to that kind of nocturnal thing. You're yeah. used to the yeah. early hours, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, half past nine in bed. Yeah, so you oh. want someone to cook for you. You've yeah. got the perfect yeah. man here. Let's have a look at your goodies. Okay. Give them a good old shake. There we are. Oh my goodness. Oh, a classic bag here. Now, tell us what you've brought along him. Okay, I've got duck breast there. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I'm pretty. Rubbish at cooking um, meat, so I've yeah. just. Well, mm. I, I don't ever cook duck breast, so the rest of it I have usually at home. I've got a red onion, some tomatoes, some chilies, sweet corn because I love sweet corn, mm -hmm. a potato, and some and some mushrooms and as well. How much did you spend? Four pound ninety-seven. Yeah. Yeah. That's not that's not too bad. What do you think, chef? That's pretty good, really. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, that's a real square meal, isn't it? You got loads <laughs> of veggies. You got your spuds. You got your your duck breast. That's mm. lovely. Thanks. I don't like greens. No, yeah. I don't like don't. vegetables. No, not at all. And you're one of those people that just like a kid that can detect when something's in the greens yeah. are in there. Yeah. If you hide it in my food, I can taste it. So don't. What about herbs? Okay yeah, no, herbs, herbs is fine. Herbs, herbs is great. Fine. Yeah. yeah. I like herbs. Right. About to meet your partner in crime. Uh oh. That person you <laughs> scream and shout at across the airwaves, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Also from North Devon. Please welcome Matt Young. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, Come on, meet Leslie. Hi, Hi Leslie. Nice to meet you. And Jay. Yeah, yeah. So you're a breakfast man. After you finish the show, do you like a massive fry up or yeah. you a muesli? Fridays is a special day. We, yeah. we have a bit of a fast foody breakfast on a Friday. Yeah. But that's the only day we allow ourselves to do it. Otherwise, it just knackers you out for the rest of the day. It does. It? it does. Nothing too yeah. heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. No, nice to see you. Anyway, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks and you're going to share all your experiences, the yes. mad things that go on on radio <laughs> stations, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's have a right look then. what you've brought uh, along. Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? Ooh. Oh, I've not seen a trout in York. Go on then, tell us about this little lot then, Matt. Well, I've got, I love beetroot. It's, mm -hmm. it's just... So do I. It's just, uh, you know, no one cooks with beetroot. Mm -hmm. And mm. I don't cook at all, so <laughs> just <laughs> buy it normally in the jars. Mm -hmm. I just love beetroot. Mm. Uh, the fish, trout, only a pound. Oh, well. Just one You've got to go for it, haven't so you? So you have to go for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love red peppers. Have them with just about everything. Yeah. Um, some shallots. Got some rice. And as I like to call it, just holy cheese. Holy <laughs> <laughs> But it's Emmental, isn't it? It is nice. Emmental. Let's have a look there. Yeah. It's sort of the old edge there. Emmental, there's Jarlsberg. There's a whole sort of mm. uh, very, a variety of cheeses like that. How much did you spend, mate? £4.72. Yeah. That's not a bad no, bag at all. What do you think, Les? It's lovely. And yeah. I love beetroot, too. Mm. Excellent. Yeah. I've got to peel them. They're really yeah, horrible in the next What are you doing in a minute, mate? <laughs> I know. The little fingers all red. <laughs> what have you been doing? Have a think. I'll come back and see you. All right, then. Now you're getting on over here. What all are you right, going to do, you. Paul? Well, it's such a classic kind of bag. I was going to do something pretty classic, really. So mm -hmm. I was thinking pepper duck breast, nice cream sauce with sautéed mushrooms. I'll do potato roasty, stuff like that. Uh, we'll make some sweet corn soup with that. We'll serve it with a tomato salsa. And then I was thinking uh, uh, frittata. A little frittata with the, with, with the, the remainder. Frittata with the rest wow. of the veg. Very Only nice. half a dozen dishes in 20 <laughs> minutes. Oh, three, three. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but, you know, a lot of effort. What do you think, Em? Very nice. Impressed? Yeah, definitely. You wait till you taste it. Well done, Paul. <laughs> Lovely choice of, uh, with the ingredients. What about you, Les? Slightly different ingredients here. Yeah. Um, I think that we're going to do... I mean, the obvious thing to do with this beetroot is to make borscht yeah. beetroot soup, but we're not going to do that. OK. We're going to do some blinis, some cheesy blinis, and wow. we're going to serve them with Cheesy sour cream beetroot blinis, yeah. and stir-fried beetroot. Fat. It's a really quick way to cook beetroot, mm -hmm. and I really love it. And then half the fish we're going to do a fish pâté mm -hmm. and serve it with garlic toasts. And then the rest of it, we're going to just griddle it and serve it with some citrus rice and a hot pepper dressing, I think. 
You can think all you like. It sounds delicious to me. It certainly does. Happy with that, Matt? Very happy. Very, very good indeed. You'll be banging on about this on the radio in the morning. It's hardly <laughs> surprising. It sounds good, doesn't it, eh? 20 minutes when I say, ready, steady, cook. Thank you. OK, yeah, let's get going here. There yeah, we go. Ah, fantastic. All right, one bin there. Our first yeah, job okay. for you, yeah. peeling, peeling onions or peeling tatties? I want half of that. Yeah. Which half do I want, though? I'll take that half. Mm -hmm. um, I need you to peel that. That's right. That's I'll put you up over here. OK. Uh, we'll use half of that, mm -hmm. finely, finely chopped, to start the salsa. OK. OK. Right. And then... Enough. Are you fairly comfortable with sort of chopping things up, Emma? Yeah, nice and easy, yeah? I'm all right, yeah. Should I call you Emma? Because you've got a name, a station name. <laughs> what do they call you? PJ or PJ, something? PJ, they call me, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why is that, then? Why PJ? I did my audition for my job in my pyjamas. Oh. In, in a local uh, restaurant. <laughs> really? You've got the right yeah. one here, eh? You turned up in your... And did you purposely yeah. do that, or were you just yeah. late? No, no, I did. I, I thought it would be good for get them to notice me, but it well, worked. Well, darling, it, it worked. worked perfectly, <laughs> didn't it? Congratulations. What a lovely way. That just shows everybody, if you're going to do something, you know, just feel, feel positive about it. Go with it. Give it everything. One minute gone already, guys. Is that what you do, Ains? Yeah, I think so. I think, I'd, I'd like the idea of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Auditioning someone for a you know an early morning breakfast show, and they turn up pajamas. I think it was great. <laughs> I'm not peeling this onto the floor. I've got a bucket underneath. No, you're not. Right. It's all over the floor. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Go over that side, boy. <laughs> what are you actually okay. doing? You've got to tell I'll me again. I'll do it here now. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to blend some of the potatoes because for the frita, I love I love the sort of Spanish omelette thing where they've got lots of spuds oh, in it. Oh yeah, so great. I'm going, to I'm going to cook off some spuds mm -hmm. um, to go into the omelette, right. and I'm going to cut them in a dice, and then the rest of this I'm going to use for my potato roasty. That's yeah. where you grate it all up, yeah. um, serve it with. Um, <laughs> Oh, no, C cook it out in butter. It. Yeah, cook it down a nice bit of butter. Now, a lot of people would have thought, you know, seeing, oh, he should have got his duck on first, but, it's in, you know, you need to get your tatties no, on. I need to get my it. tatties on, yeah. All right, duck then. actually doesn't take that long. Mm. Um, but if you stick around a second, I'll just show you mm -hmm. how you do a classic preparation for duck. All right, then. Shall I go and come back, or do you want me to hang around? Oh, just hang on. <laughs> OK. Wait, do second. you want to come with this one? Oh. This half. Do, do a little bit of tidying up. Two um, minutes gone keep already. That. Keep, keep that. it. Keep yeah. okay. OK, duck. Mm -hmm. Comes like this. Almost always nowadays, we can get it like this. That's all nicely trimmed, etc. But all we do, all we do, can you get me some peppercorns out of the peppercorn yeah. uh, thing? Mm -hmm. All we do is slash the skin. Yeah. There you go, give us a handful. And yeah. what that's for is to release the fat and allow mm -hmm. that skin to crisp up. Right. So I'm going to season it with salt and pepper. Uh huh. Um, and you want crushed peppercorns? Yeah, oh, go yeah. ahead, Ainsley. Yeah, I'll go and see what Leslie's doing, Charlie. Yeah. No, you go home. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, there you go. And then it goes into a dry pan. Mm -hmm. start, at the, start at the skin side first. Yeah. And, now, I much prefer peppercorns like this because... Yeah. Do, you don't mind yeah. peppercorns? No, 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 it's yeah. fine, yeah. Because they have so much more aroma, you yeah. know, than the stuff that, you know, if you buy cracked peppercorns in the supermarket, oh, it's dead convenient, all yeah. that. But it, it doesn't have that beautiful aroma. Now, when you, you know? crush them, it definitely releases. And you got to roll, you know, roll them in it. Press mm. it in, or it's going to come come off. You need quite a bit of salt. I always think. Okay. Right. And a dry pan. Is that the secret? I form? whack it into a dry pan, and then the fat will render out. And the skin will become nice and crispy. Start mm. it skin side down. Flip it over in a second. Yeah. Then skin and back in the oven. Fantastic. Good tip for you. Very good. Yeah, yeah excellent. I'll come back yeah. and see you. Yeah. All right, Les, sorry, nice I was missing stuff. you doing okay. up the fish here. That's you filleted right. it, yeah? I've just filleted it, Do you yeah. want the head or should I get rid of no, that? No, thank you, love. You can okay, get rid of that. Okay, lovely. One head out the way. Um, I see you giving the nice, easy job there to <laughs> me. Yeah, because, you know, Ainsley, that's the sort of woman I am. <laughs> Give people the loveliest jobs. <laughs> How are you doing over there, mate? You're all right, Matt. Not too bad, not too all right. bad. Ains, can I just show you this? Of course you can. And um, This is um, pilaf rice, which mm -hmm. is, I think, one of the loveliest ways to get flavour into rice, yeah? So we've browned off shallot in a little butter. Yeah. We then... And shallot, not necessarily the onion, because it's got a lovely kind of sweetness to the, it's to got the it. shallot. And it cooks, seems to cook quicker, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, rice goes in, I put in wine, lemon, mm -hmm. stock and bay, and mm -hmm. then just stick a lid on that. Yeah. Um, it's two and a half times the amount of rice, and then you just want to put that in the oven, right. yeah? 
Um, okay. And hopefully that will cook in 12 minutes. Beautiful. Yeah? And all those lovely flavours are incorporated into the rice, all soaked up. Yeah, Fantastic. absolutely. So how are we mm. doing with that beetroot? Not too bad. Is that yeah. enough? Is it? No, you, no, you have to peel them all. <laughs> Sorry, because we need every bit, mate. <laughs> oh, love it. Oh. Look good at this. And then you want to grate them. Now, you, obviously, you can cook beetroot in yeah. water. Just boil it. And just pull off the skins. Just pull off the skins. Yeah. But you can also... Uh, stir fry it from raw, right. which I love with butter, black pepper, and lemon juice, mm, and mm. serve it with sour cream, which is then. what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so you need to peel the rest and then grate them for. You never had to work so hard in the kitchen, have you? Never. Oh dear. <laughs> now I'm calling you Matt, but that you guys have got different names on the radio station. Yeah. What's yours? Uh, I'm called Spanky. Spanky. <laughs> yes. Now, why do they call you Spanky? Uh, it comes from a very boring story about a stuntman yeah. in America called Spanky yeah. Spangler. Yeah. And I've been known as a bit of a stuntman in my past. Liar. And it's true. <laughs> it's true. And um, uh, yeah. So yeah. my friends gave me the nickname about 15 years ago, and it stuck. Right. So, so Les, he's now referred to as Spanky. Whatever gets you through the night, night, Matt. <laughs> That's yeah. It. Yeah. So we like that. All right then. Now, oh, look at these, that's tiny. Now, what, uh, <laughs> what made you bring sort of such little beetroots, is it? Well, I just, you know, I, I had normally buy them in a jar. Mm -hmm. So I thought this time, no, why not? Let's get them proper. Yeah. Or as you say in Devon, proper. Proper, <laughs> proper. Well, it's kind of nice because I think a lot of people at home, you'll probably all relate to this, is you see these in the supermarket, the big bunch, and you think, oh, no, I don't know what to do with them. Perfect opportunity here. Les will give you at least one idea what to do with them. And you can also use the stalks, can't you, Les? These are really flavoursome. Yeah, yeah, Particularly absolutely. nice. You can cook those down and put them in salads and stuff like that. Yeah. Really lovely. We're going to use... Actually, we can use a few of these in, for a little bit of a salad garnish, actually, because yeah, yeah. they're nice and peppery. Yeah? Very nice indeed. OK, 14 minutes to go. And, uh, Les, I'll come back and see how you're getting on with this fish and all that in a moment. All, all right. right love. All right, Chef. Uh, rusty on the way, is it? Uh, rusty on the way, but mm -hmm. I like it with rosemary. Do you like rosemary OK? Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. Because the rosemary sort of fries up nice and crisp. I've actually yeah. changed pans there uh -huh. because I think there's a better pan for rosti. OK. Are you okay. going to make one large rosti then, as opposed yeah, to uh, yeah. individual ones? Yeah. And uh, it, no, it varies oh, no, a lot. big bowl, and we're going to oh, season it. We're going okay. to season it up. There you go, man. Can I help you? Here yeah, we are, my <laughs> Now, tell us, sir, uh, if you, some, some guys, some of the guys squeeze out the water, you just like it like this. You I like, like it like this. A yeah. bit starchy. I, I do like it like this. It mm -hmm. sticks together better like this. It seems to have a fresher taste and stuff as well. So OK. Very nice. Personal preference. OK, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we'll get some fresh coriander. And um, it's really quite important when you're making salsa, I think, uh -huh. to let it stand. And let the flavours kind of, what, infuse together a little bit? Yeah. OK. What, what, what would you leave? At what period of time? Do you need to wash this off? It's a bit sort of sandy <coughs> and stuff. How long, Paul? What do you think? It sort of depends what you're after, you know? Mm -hmm. um, a good, no, anywhere between 20 minutes to a couple of hours or something like that? Yeah. Uh, quite often... Um, how long would you if leave, you leave it? it too long? It'll yeah. go all soggy. You That's know. Right, yeah. I think like an hour is probably about correct. Uh, okay. Like that, Good. You know? Just to give everybody some idea. Twelve minutes yeah. to go, guys. When I'm cooking a so roast, I right? like to yeah. pat the edges down as I'm doing it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It keeps it nice and neat. Yeah. Okay. Kind of pulls everything together, really, yeah. doesn't it? Now, there's not enough oil or butter in there, so mm -hmm. I'm going to add some more because I like to. I like to Oil uh, or butter, Paul. see it ticking over both things. Like both. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. All you right want this then. in here, Paul? What, darling? Just in there? Please. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. I mean, good. This is like a classic Mexican salsa type thing. Have you ever tried that before? No. And what would be a classic Mexican? You mean anything? Just chop it all up and throw it in type thing? Yeah, this is wonderful with taco chips. You know, like white corn taco chips, something like that? Yeah. Very mm, nice. Yeah. You know, a bit of guacamole. Yeah. She's looking at you thinking, tacos. I've got no idea oh, what you're talking about. No, I know what he's talking about. <laughs> cheeky. You'd have it on your fajitas, mm. maybe. <laughs> so what's happening here? You end up sort of cooking it almost in too much. Mm -hmm. And then you drain it off. OK. Yeah. But that way it'll get nice and crisp. Yeah. Beautiful. There you go. Nice little tip for your crispy <laughs> roshi. 11 minutes to go. How do you get on with Matt down there? You two guys do a radio show together every day, five days a week. I do you ever get on each other's nerves? Yeah, all the time. I spend yeah. more time with him than I do with my boyfriend. So, yeah. 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 Why is he really called Spanky? I'll tell you later. Oh. He's telling lies. I knew yeah. that. I had to be a story behind that. <laughs> 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 all right, then. Yeah, I'm going to leave right. you to it. I'll come back and sure. see a nice-looking rosti there. Okay. Oh, Les, yeah. now this is the what? These are little blinis. Now, I must be honest and say that blinis are normally made with buckwheat flour and yeah. yeast dough, yeah? So we're yeah. cheating here. We're making a thick pancake mixture which we've flavoured 
with um, chives, mm -hmm. and we're going to put some dill in as well, and cheese. Okay, yeah? you've got baking powder I've in there. I've got baking powder, or you could use self-raising. Okay, yeah. yeah. And a bit there. Um, I've right, got my then. fish on, which yes. is just poaching away in a little bit of water. Uh-huh. And we're going to make some garlic toasts next. So if mm. you can put all that beetroot, once you've grated it there, Matt. Right, now, what know. about this uh, halfway, guys? What about this uh, fish, though, Les? Obviously, it doesn't take very long at all, does it? No, not to cook. And, um... I'm going to griddle one of them. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to need a griddle pan. So what are we talking about? A little fillet like that is going to be cooked like in... Like a couple of minutes, literally. It's really, really fast. Yeah, you've heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Literally, when you start getting fish like that, a fillet of fish, it doesn't take long. Two, three minutes at the most, yeah. and that's ready to go. It's fast. Lovely. It's really, wow, really look fast. at them puffing up, eh, Matt? Really How's really your fingers? Nice and, nice and red. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Beetroot boy. <laughs> Beetroot boy, I tell you. It's got to be worth it, though. I know it has. I used to actually remember that. I don't know about you, Les. When you used to go to the market when you were a kid, yeah. and they used to boil the beetroots and everything, right there in the market stall, down Northcote Road and Clapham Junction. I loved it. And you could smell it, and my mum said, Oh, we must have some beetroot. Oh, beetroot <laughs> loved it. is fantastic, yeah. I think. Yeah. I love it. Just absolutely loved it. Very underrated, and it's good roasted. So if you parboil yeah. it and then put it in the oven with olive oil mm -hmm. and garlic, and then roast it and serve it with roasted new potatoes oh. and a blob of sour cream oh. and some dill, it's Ooh. fab. She knows how to get the taste buds going. <laughs> <isn't she? laughs> yes. Fantastic. All right, then. Right, so I'm she fine. was saying down there, you're not too bad to work with, but... Uh, I think I'm all right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't give her too much of a hard time. But then, you know, she does her own thing. Mm. So and what, what's, it, what's it like? Because it's been a bit of a transformation from you. You've had a couple of jobs before that, and now you've got involved in radio. Is it the yeah. most exciting thing you've ever done? I've got the best job in the world. Mm. I've said it, and I, it's a catchphrase, and she would laugh at me for saying it. But it is, you know, I can get up early, and then I do four hours of talking and playing music. Mm. It's what mm. I do for a living. Yeah. So you've got to have the personality. Lucky. Do you think so? Yeah, it doesn't matter who it is. <laughs> you know, you've got, you've got to be able to do something. You know, people say, oh, it's easy. Because you've made it easy, Matt. That's the thing. Okay. Anyway, back to cooking. Now, what about this beetroot? Do we need to get it on, Les, or did it cook no, really quickly? No, not quite yet. We need to get a pan on getting it nice and hot, though. So we might want to flip those pancakes over. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. And then just keep, keep them warm in the oven. Yeah? Okay, then. Let's turn them over there. So we they are. might just need flipping over, and then maybe we can use that pan just to do the beetroot in, actually. All right, then there we are. Pop yeah. those on there, and then right. shove that in the oven. Put them all on there. Okay, fantastic. Get that into the oven and away and you go. And then this fish, I'm just going to just season You're it with some You're going to char one. One's poaching off. Yeah, and one's oh, done, actually. Okay, so I need that, that pan. Oh, that's nice and hot, Yeah, yeah. Ah, ha, me, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, sorry, love. Are you OK? <laughs> of course it is. I'm absolutely fine. OK, so Lovely. we'll just move that out of the way. Mind your back. All right. We need to make some garlic toast here, darling. Mm. So I want you to slice some bread and get it toasted for me. OK, let's get all these little bits of cheesy stuff out of the way. Turn your board over and away you go, Matt. <laughs> right, there you go. Right, are we slicing this in, like, little... Like into slices? rounds. Into rounds. On a slant, love. OK, yeah. Like that, nice cool. and thick. Mind your fingers. OK, he's going to char grill those off. OK, seven minutes to go, by the way. Got a little bit of soup going on over there. Be careful of that, please. Be really, really careful. Allow some of the pressure to come out. That's it. I just don't want to... Just I'll show All right, then. Go on, then. You carry on. You carry on. The last... <laughs> What is this doing on the show? <laughs> <laughs> now, you show us. <laughs> now, that is why, ladies and gentlemen, we really do. We try and point out to everybody. You see what I mean? I know. You see what save me, Ainsley? I know. You? I'm your superman. You're my night, night what is this armor. Here? Yeah. Are you all right? But you're not burnt, are you, Paul? You're okay, I have mate? to go. I need a doctor. Oh, get out of are here. You a, are you a nurse? I've got, I've got a nurse's kit. Are you a nurse? <laughs> uh, that's it. Oh, these wow. look lovely and interesting. Look at those. Now, there's hardly, yes. any, hardly any butter in that uh, pan there, the mushrooms. Yeah, the mushrooms have, uh, have sort of taken it all up. Yeah. Okay. Kind of soaked up all that lovely flavour. You betcha. You just need to get the okay. tomato in here. Can you get me some basil? Yes. Basil, please. Oh, it makes so much noise, I can hardly hear. There we are. Here we are, a bit of basil. Uh, there we are. Yeah, take that out, give that to your Thanks. chef. Yeah, give us this. Thanks. You carry on, that's fine. I got it. Tear it, tear it in here. There we are. Rip it. Okay. Bruise it. In there? Yeah, whack it in. Do you want the stalks and all that? A bit, bit more. Not too many stalks. Mm. Oh, lovely. Just, I didn't know whether you wanted stalks No, well. you're fine. Just tear them up a wee bit more. If you have cooking at my house, you love stalks. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's this mission you're doing? What's it, what do they call it? Uh, let me remind myself. Monday, Monday mission. mission. Yeah, every Monday I go out, um, people, the listeners call in, yeah. and they set me a mission. So I had um, 
go and find some, um, go and find a four-leaf clover somewhere in North Devon. That's yeah. it. And then I just go out and fulfil it. Yeah, but you've had you've had some which have been really quite near the mark. What's it? And yeah. you had, went to a circus. Yeah, I did. And nice you were a knife thrower's assistant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my I word. wouldn't do they that said, if I were you. They said go and go and get involved in the circus. So we went down. I said, what can I do? They said, oh, you can be our assistant. Yeah. Which was great until he told me he was going to be blindfolded three excuse times. Me, excuse me. So. Can you imagine that, Paul? This guy, the professional I knife would, thrower. I would not do that. I just. Well, but they wouldn't even. No, they wouldn't the company, insure me would to they? do it. No, they said they wouldn't insure me. Yeah. But I got there and I thought, well, why not? And we'll it do doesn't it. stop there. You, your listeners also get the opportunity to pinch PJ. Yeah. What's, what's, what's pinch PJ? They take me to work with them. Yeah. So I go to work and do their job with them for the morning or whatever. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I take, take them to work and do do their job with them, which and what, is great. And what's the scariest one that's ever, that you've ever been involved in? Um, the scariest one is probably going out with the RAF search and rescue. They took yeah. me out in the, in the helicopter and... Yeah. and let me down on a winch into the sea. So it's quite good. Wow. Yeah, it was wow. great. Four yeah. minutes to go, guys. Yeah. We'll power to your elbow. And that's <laughs> brilliant that you can do that. Really, really good. Now, Paul, what will happen? Is this an actual soup? That's a soup, man. That right. soup is made. And so what what's got into there? You just literally, it's just the sweet corn cooked down with anything sweet in there? Sweet corn with a bit of stock. Um, but you know, I have made sweet corn soup for years. Uh -huh. Where's the nerve? Um, that, that. And yeah. in my opinion, in my opinion, the best sweet corn soup yeah. only has chicken stock and sweet corn in it. That's it. Yeah. Because the flavor of sweet corn is so delicious and so pure that you don't need anything right. else. Uh, so a little, little cream or something like that? Oh, yeah. You can finish with cream and stuff yeah. like that. But as soon as you start putting garlic and onion yeah. in there, I think sweet, yeah. you sort of lose all the simplicity of and beauty of sweet corn soup, you know? All right. All right. Garlic, Smells parsley in, the, in with those mushrooms. Okay. Beautiful. Just so simple, but looks so yeah. lovely, don't they? Smells Again, great. not too much oil. You know, you don't need to fry in loads of fat on it. What this one, this, we, we've got it. Uh, this is the base to my sauce for the duck. OK, I'm going to leave you get on with it. Ciao. All right, then. Three minutes to go nothing, now. Nothing. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Talk about overloading that pan. Shall I give this a shake, Liz? I need to get yeah. the rice on, Aisley. OK, the, the rice. Yeah, rice needs to come out the oven. Right, there we are. Rice out the oven. Here we are. Oh. There we are. Make sure you double up that cloth there, really yeah, good. Yeah, it'll be hot, babe. Be careful. Oh, this is looking good. Now, here we are. Let me get my notes sorted out here. <laughs> now, this is looking okay. quite good. Yeah. Now, for all those of you are worried about it, how long, this, how long it takes to cook, this really doesn't take much time at all. There you go. Let's get rid of that one. There you go, Les. OK, great. Right, now, what about that fish pate, Les? What went in there, my darling? Right, a bit of bread, a bit yeah. of olive oil, some dill and the poached fish, basically. OK, bread, olive oil, dill and poached fish. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's all about. Oh, it smells good, too. I've just given it a bit of a red tinge with the beetroot. I'm just I'm borrowing your cream. Thief! Got it! I found it! Oh, back. OK. <laughs> all right. Can you have it back now? Oh, no, it's all happening Thanks. now. There Mind you go. Back. Yeah, I'm not moving. Two minutes to go, by the way. Oh! There we are. Oh, your wine. Get yourself some more wine. <laughs> there we are. Lovely. Right, that can just go in that, in that little dish there, please, OK, please. no problem. There we are. Lovely. You can just put a little bit of spiked, uh, spiked dill and lemon on top of that. God, uh, yeah, you know it's good yourself, right? Yeah, yeah just chop that in half for us. Oh. That's it. You, <gasps> mm. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> now, now, you don't cook at home, do you? You just heat Thin. things up. I'm afraid so, No, yeah. just the other way. That's other way, it. Like yeah, that. just straight in half. So, uh, who cooks for you? Can put lemon in here? No, you've got a bit of lemon there. I'm just going to pop that Thanks, there for darling. you. Thanks, darling. There was no there lemon. Where's your toast? Get, turn your toast over, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Turn them over, honey. Turn them over. <laughs> all right, keep going. No, we're all right. We're cool. Lemon. Oh, fantastic. Black, black, black pepper. Black okay, pepper. here we are, Les. Black Salt. pepper. Oh, there you go. Fantastic. Oh, dear. This it's is all going, really. then. Oof. Right, okay. Now, do you think, after watching Les go frantically, like, you know, rushing around, that you've learned anything today? I've been trying to learn, but I've also been trying to do stuff here and watch. She's so quick. Yeah. Very, very quick indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you could be just as quick if you practice. There you go. Nice talking to you, by the oh, way. Oh, OK, Spanky's busy, PJ's busy, Paul is busy, and, of course, Leslie is frantic. Let's get this food out, guys. All right. Come on, less than that. Coming up for about 35 seconds now. 35 no, seconds to get the food that. out. Les is absolutely fine. Get that fish on the top. 30 uh, seconds underneath now. me. Oh, All right, right lemon, then. Lemon, lemon. Uh, here, another nice lemon here, Liz. Go for it. That's it. Come on, coming up 20 seconds. Oh, nice, big applause. Get ready to help me count down any second now. Where's these going, Liz? It's just a little bit of butter on over the, the main. Yeah, on the fish, yeah. Oh, no, no. Nine, 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 nine eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking! Wow! Wow! Talking about leaving it to the last moment, eh? Let's have a look at this wonderful food. And to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, Paul had duck breast, potato, a can of sweet corn, red chilli, red onion, tomatoes and mushrooms. Leslie had trout, rice, beetroot, shallots, red pepper and a small piece of lemon pulchy. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling really hungry looking at this food. And uh, you're about to do it justice, aren't you? Yeah. Go on, get stuck in there, PJ. Okay. What about a name, Paul? Uh, how about this? Uh, PJ the DJ got lucky with the ducky. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, right. You're looking for a job on the radio station, oh, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. What did you do with your yeah. ingredients, Paul? OK, we started out um, mm -hmm. with the duck, mm -hmm. uh, crushed our peppercorns, seasoned the duck, scored the skin, started out in the dry pan, got rid of all that fat. You see the skins come up lovely mm -hmm. and crispy. Beautiful. I've left it a little bit pink. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the way I like to eat it. Yeah. Um, if you want it well done, about five minutes more. Don't leave your duck in too long. It'll dry out. Um, it's beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Serving this with uh, yeah, a nice pepper cream it's sauce. We've got yeah. some garlic mushrooms with parsley there. Mm -hmm. We've got some roast red onion and the rosemary roasty there. That's just, uh, um, you can do it on a grater, mm -hmm. you know, and, the, mm. and then uh, I would always do it in a non stick pan. A little yeah. bit of oil, a little bit of butter. Crisp it up and then drain it off. We drained it well on, on paper towel. The soup, ever so simple corn, chicken stock. That's it. Blitz it up, a little bit of cream. And what we've served it with is some Mexican tomato salsa, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, they eat a lot of, a lot of corn in Mexico, yeah. and those flavors really go together well. They complement well. each other, really. don't they? Yeah. This is ever so simple. It's just all the leftover veg. We've got some chili in there. We've got some mushrooms, the tomatoes, the red onion, lots and lots of fresh basil. Some goat's cheese would be wonderful in there. Mm. In goes the eggs, so a little bit of salt and pepper, bang. It's wow. lovely, it's very well, nice. Um, I do like the duck. I like this. That's yeah. the, do you see what this is called? Rusty. Rusty. I like that. Yeah. It's nice. So you've yeah, learned really something nice. today? I have, yeah. yeah. I'm going to try this at home. Great, great. Yeah. Wonderful. Like well done to you too, Paul. Lovely Thanks. presentation. And equally beautiful over this side too, Matt. So Isn't she? I know, she's gorgeous. We all know about our Les. But Aww. you have to get into this food. You Not have to problem. destroy Not that illusion or destroy tucky. that presentation. What about a name, Leslie? Well, I think as my husband often says, yeah. not bad for an old trout. All right then. All right then. Oh, he likes the rainbow variety, doesn't he? <laughs> All right, then. Now, what did you do with your ingredients, then? OK, we made some mm. cheese cheats blinis. Yeah. And then mm. Matt brilliantly peeled the <coughs> beetroot. And, and we stir-fried it with butter and mm. loads of lemon and black pepper, mm -hmm. made a sour cream, sat it on top of the cheesy hot blinis, mm. um, lots of black pepper and dill. Yeah, because yeah, beetroot, sour cream and dill, marriage Perfect. made in heaven. Harmony, yeah. yeah. And then the trout here, oh, you're very polite, aren't you? Go for it. <laughs> we, half the trout, mm -hmm. we griddled, just very simply with rock salt mm. in the griddle pan and just served it with this rather sort of lemony bay. But the lemon. secret is to make mm. sure that griddle pan's really hot, though, so it yeah. sears it instantly. Absolutely okay. sears it. Yeah. And then just hot peppers and lemon dressing over the top. And then here, what we did mm -hmm. was take the other trout fillet and poach it and then make a pate out of it. Yeah. We flavoured it with Shove lots it in of his herbs. Gob. <laughs> there you go. Well, you nearly took your fingers off then, didn't you? Eh? Mm. Mm. So it's just like a hot fish pate rather yeah. than a cold one, yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's just olive oil, a little bit of bread, lemon, lots of herbs, and blitz it all together. And you a little bit of a salt and pepper too. A little lot yeah. of salt and pepper, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're using a smoked trout, then not so much salt, obviously. You don't need to add any salt at all. Lovely. Yeah. Well, what's the verdict then, um, Spanky? Fantastic. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, those are unbelievable. There's, there's like, loads of different flavours in there. Yeah. And the beetroot kind of cuts through, doesn't oh, it? Oh, that's brilliant. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, well, well done. Well done to you two. Food looks delicious, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? But what do our studio audience think? Will they go for the green peppers or the red tomatoes? Let's find out. Will you all please vote now? And up they go, and having a quick look, today is a green oh, pepper wow. day! Oh, hey, congratulations. There we are. £100 spending money there for you. Thanks so much. Good luck with the radio. Thank you. And I hope all those lovely missions get better and better and better for you. Yeah, thank right. you. You don't go right. losing your life or anything like that, all right? <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks very much, Paul. Oh, and well, those were quite close. I'm glad she won. I know, otherwise your life would have been hell. Absolutely hell. Hell. But so, hey, never mind. You've got a lovely hamper to take home with you. Thank you very much. Ready, steady, you cook. did you a great yourself job. today? It's been fantastic. It went so quickly, but it's been brilliant. Thank oh, you. wonderful. And it's been brilliant because you've produced some wonderful food. Thanks, With your help, Thank you very much indeed. That's all right.
that. That's wonderful. And ladies and gentlemen, hey, there's more. Come and join us over here, guys, because once again, oh, it's wow. time to find out what's in today's quickie bag. But in the meantime, hey, if you're in North yeah, Devon, make sure you tune into Lantern FM and get these guys, Emma and Matt. There you go. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, and here's what's on offer. Give that a bit of a shake. Oh, oh, one bag you? going over there. There we are. Mm. And we've got some nice uh, classic cured, dry cured bacon. Um, which, oh, Ooh, wow. We were trying to figure out what that was. Oh, I was it? actually giving that a bit of a feel. But oh. you do after a while. You know when you squeeze it, don't you? And we've got some nice tomatoes here. Look at <gasps> those. Aren't they unusual, those, ladies and gentlemen? Very nice indeed. We've got some uh, flat mushrooms, a rather big block of the old mature cheddar oh. cheese there, and an onion. So it's over to Liz. I think with these tomatoes... I would butter chilli, bake them with sugar and chilli and olive oil and roast them in the oven, mm -hmm. maybe with uh, maybe a little bit of cumin as well, so they're kind of spicy, Fantastic. roasted. Yeah. Oh, shut up, you. And then I, what I do with this, half the mushrooms, I would make garlic and mushroom soup Ooh. with crispy Ooh. bacon and great big croots, because Ooh, I think yeah. mushroom soup, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of the mushrooms, I would... Probably, I think, maybe make a mushroom patty out of those. Oh, mm. yes. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, no, I know what I do. Oh. Cheese on toast yeah. with mushroom stroganoff, I think. Fun. With a mushroom Trash. stick. Oh, well, that's it, and the bacon. Well, you ladies and gentlemen. Want to do this. Yeah, now that sounds fantastic. I think we should just go and cook, but Paul might have something to say about that. I'd make a sort of uh, pizza type thing out of this, cook the mushrooms and get all this stuff on top. You uh, grill the cheese. Um, mm. I would do a mushroom bruschetta with sort of poached egg stuff, and I would do um, tomato, bacon, and onion salad with chili and basil and stuff. Lovely. That sounds what lovely. Leslie's that sounds sounds lovely. Sounded, I know, both of you sounded fantastic. <laughs> Red tomato, green pepper, over to our studio audience again. Help me out here. Can you, you please know what all to do. vote now? <laughs> And yes. up they go, and it looks like... Paul, would you like to hand this to Leslie, please? Leslie. Thank you very much indeed. Thank Let's you. get cooking. <laughs> Your ten minutes cooking time starts now, Leslie. All right, mate. OK, so, Paul, I want you to riddle me some bread. Nice long piece, yeah? Riddle me some bacon so it's nice and crisp. And make me some onion rings, please. Hurry up. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. <laughs> Ain? Yes. Right, now, we what need to get these... Right, well, let's get the mixture together for these tomatoes. OK. Yeah, and we need to also make a mixture for the posh Welsh rabbit. So okay. we need to get wine, mustard, grated cheese, yes. cream. All right, then. Anything else, Liz? Riddle's hands-on. Uh, wine, yes. mustard, grated cheese.